Hi, I'm Tasha, and I've got the genetic disorder achondroplasia. Achondroplasia is a genetic form of dwarfism due to a problem of bone growth and development. There are many causes for dwarfism, including hormone imbalances and metabolic problems. Achondroplasia is easily recognizable. Affected individuals have disproportionate short stature, large heads with characteristic facial features, and disproportionate shortenings of their limbs. Achondroplasia is caused by mutation in the fibroblast growth factor, receptor 3 gene, located on the short arm of chromosome 4. Also, this genetic disorder can be given to the offspring if one or both the parents have it. In individuals with achondroplasia, some symptoms include the upper arms are shorter than the forearms, and the upper leg is shorter than the lower leg. In addition to shortened limbs, individuals with achondroplasia have other characteristic limb differences. People with achondroplasia have a limited ability to rotate and extend their elbows. They generally develop bowed legs and may have interned toes. Their hands and feet are short and broad, as are their fingers and toes. Achondroplasia is generally diagnosed by physical examination at birth. In addition to being diagnosed by physical examination, individuals with achondroplasia have some specific bone changes that can be seen on an x-ray. There is no cure for achondroplasia. Two treatments have been used to try to increase the final adult height of individuals with achondroplasia, limb lengthening and growth hormone therapy. There are risks and benefits to both treatments. The short stature of achondroplasia can be a socially isolating and physically challenging issue. Most public places are not adapted to individuals of short stature, and this can limit their activities. Children and adults with achondroplasia can be socially atrocitized due to their physical appearance. So next time you see a person with achondroplasia, don't think, whoa, look at that strange person, but think, hey, they're just like me. Don't judge a book by its cover.